screen. And uh, very unfortunate for Healy. An insane run, though. Still not out of it. Certainly, uh, with the upsets he's made, can still make it out in loser's side. I'm going to go get another water. Do you want one? Sure, I'll take one. Thank you. All right. What match is next? All right. I don't know what we got. How's everyone doing? How every how is everyone in the chat doing? I hope you are all having an amazing day on this fine Halloween Eve day. No, is no one else on commentary? Huh? Is no one else on commentary? Or Thane just went to go get me a water. I'll let him have a seat. Unlucky. Thank you. This might be the mover, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's me here. I'm Serge OP. Hot blues Not competing right now. Joining me is Thane. He's back. I'm back. I got water. Justin. Um, do we have a set lined up or what? Seven is yelling. So. Seven is yelling at the other end of the venue. Right. I'm gonna go ask Seven or Miles or someone if they're set to be play on. Okay. Is the food here good? How do I get food? What? Is the food here good? How do I get food? I like. A lot of people like the chicken tenders. They're pretty good. And I don't know if they make their ranch homemade or not, but it tastes like it because I've had a homemade ranch before, like you know, where they mix it with the powder and everything. And it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> you just go upstairs. You know, so, I mean, are you asking how? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's like a little bar area up here, um, and they have like all the typical like that's where like hamburgers, chicken, <laughs> get soda. Right. I might do that later. Do we have a set? All right, we're getting one. Let's go. We're about to see. I want to take a look at the bracket. I think wave B has started. It has. Wisdom's playing Foxy Grandpa. Ooh, that's fun. Foxy Grandpa, my goat. Um, okay. I don't know anyone else here. <laughs> yeah, I recognize a few of these names. What's cool B2 looking like? Okay, I think I just heard Magic Conch on stream. He is playing Redemption. So, Magic Conch is a player from Arkansas. Uh, a Mr. Game & Watch player. Oh no. So... We got people on screen. Who would be Wolf Pro 2-0, right? Are we just reporting these? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we are now. This was 2-0 also. Yeah. <laughs> these are already done. Okay. Okay. We are back. We're picking stages. We got, we got to get some, We got to get it quick. They got stages. Yes, sir. The, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume is Springfield's very own Falcro. That dude's a goat. I love Falcro. 
Is that what this is, right? Yeah. Gotcha. All right, we got Redemption Magic Con. When you said Redemption, I was like, we're doing Redemption Bracket this early? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's just the tag. Yeah. Um, all right, this is a Game & Watch player. Bowser Game & Watch? I can do this. From here. Arkansas. I played both of these characters today. <laughs> Redemption. Can you make sure you're player one, please? Cool. Thank you. Alright, they're still putting in tags. This should be interesting. Bowser Game & Watch. This should be interesting. You know, in theory, Bowser might not do terribly. Kills... I like this matchup. Uh, kills Game & Watch very early. Uh, can rack up a lot of damage. Has very big hitboxes to kind of um, challenge Game & Watch. Bowser's fair beats out Game & Watch fair. Oh yeah, you're the, you're the yeah. Bowser player. You would know. I don't mind this matchup. It's annoying, but it's like... It's not unwinnable. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know about this matchup. Okay, this doesn't exactly surprise me because I know Redemption has a very good Ike. And uh, Ike Game & Watch is arguably Game & Watch's single worst matchup. That makes sense. So Redemption, the Bowser Ike player from Kansas City, um, pulling out the Ike. I don't we'll think see how Magic can deal with this though. I don't think Bowser's a bad choice, but if Ike's a better choice, yeah, just play Ike. Yeah, I do believe Meister thinks Ike is one of if not Game of Watch's worst matchups. Uh, yeah, like that. You just got. You just took four that was out there. All right, it's it's off to a very rough start for Conch. For Conch, for sure. I don't know if I've like registered a single move that Game Watch has done this entire this entire match. Yeah, Game Watch often just gets completely stopped by everything Ike does. Yeah. And the Ike player, you can just sit there and wait till Game Watch commits to something. Yeah. All right. I know, so Magic Conch uh, came from uh, Arkansas to Ursa Major in Springfield. That just kills. He came to Ursa Major in Springfield a while ago and surprised a bunch of people. He was bottom seated because nobody knew who he was, yeah. and he just showed up and got ninth. So here, uh, having to play a player of Redemption's caliber so early just kind of shows how stacked this tournament is. Yeah. Magic Con's doing a lot better on this last stock, but I don't think it's going to be able to take it this game. Yeah, this is looking very rough. I do think that having a having a counter pick and having this mindset going oh, into that game of watch uh, roll, it just doesn't just doesn't go long enough. Yeah, that was uh, that was something. Yeah, wowza. Okay, that was just not quite knowing either character well enough. To know that you could roll past that. Yeah, it was. I, I think he was also caught mid roll. Like, if the yeah. roll ended completely, he would have oh, been yeah. behind him, but the invulnerability of the roll had already ended and he wasn't quite all the way behind him. I do think this next game is going to be better for Magic Con. Like, considerably better. I would hope so. Yeah. He needs something. Does he stay Game and Watch? He does. Like, get Orange Game and Watch. It's Halloween! Uh, yeah, this is very interesting. Uh,. Hopefully the stage helps a little bit because I think having Ike not able to land on him with those nares without kind of getting in a run-in with the yeah. platform might be a little bit better. Yeah, I kind yeah. of. I I feel like there's just there's just certain points where the move's not gonna hit. You just have to run away. And yeah. Reevaluate what you're doing. All right. Get up, e. See, like this, kind of sharking underneath the platforms, just trying to stay underneath, prevent Ike from coming at you from above you. 
just kind of fishing for up out of shield or up out of any options, really. Which is fair. It's game to watch. Oh, got the parry, but didn't go for any punish. That's what we call the accidental parry. Oh. That can also happen. I can shark yeah. very easily under these platforms, too. Oh, that's. Okay, that's not just going to be stuff to side oh. Dash Hack is going to take it. An, unfor an unfortunate interaction, but I do think Conch now has a plan against side B. Yeah, and so now Redemption can ver play very reactionary. Like, not doesn't have to push the, the issue at all. Just kind of wait for Magic Conch to kind of come in at you. And Ike has the tools to deal with Game & Watch. Okay. Yeah, Redemption. Now the game plan has kind of switched heads. Now Redemption can kind of just stay on the platform and not do anything, while Magic Conch has to be the one to approach. Right. Magic Conch has him off stage now. Yeah. Oh, that was right. super good. Yeah, gets just the, wait out his ledge vulnerability. Yeah, the classic bacon F tilt. Grabs the kill. First kill of the set for Magic Conch, I think, right? Um, yeah, I think so. All right, this is insane damage, though. 63%. That's another really good thing about this stage for Game & Watch. Good parry. That was very good. All right, Magic Conch, this damage is racking up real fast, but, yeah. I do think Magic Conch can close this out pretty quickly, though. Some bit of a, maybe a bit of a classic down smash. Yeah, that Game & Watch special. All right. Redemption with a couple of good reads gets a lot of damage there. Oh, okay. Just run up grabs. He tries to get a read there with the DI on the up air, but... Kanja, if he can get this kill now, he's not in a bad he's spot. Out of it, no. Yeah, even even Ike Nair is not entirely safe. Okay. <laughs> Redemption literally just jumping and spamming there. <laughs> hey, you know. Sometimes that's how I do it. I don't think Redemption's really fishing for this kill. Redemption's just fishing for any damage at all and yeah. trying to stay alive. And the more he takes these uppies, I mean, he's not going to die to uppie. Yeah, no. Now sitting at 173%. Finally gets a Nair conversion of his own. And now Con Magic Conch is in the bad spot. Still 183 now. Okay, smart by Magic Conch, kind of feigning the, the run up F tilt. So, 193. Up throw, not gonna kill yet. Conch needs to go for something. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> he really only took one solid hit that whole time. And now. I don't think. The thing is, Redemption's not scared anymore. I really don't. I think Magic Conch. If he gets one of these good Nair loops... And some cheeky Game & Watch stuff, I think it could work. Okay. Magic Hunt trying to stay as safe as possible, trying to find a way to get this Oh, just the very tip of that sword is going to take it out. Perfect spacing by Redemption. He takes it. 2-0. Is this winners? This was winners, yes. Nice. Magic Hunt still not out of it. So you don't have to